Good evening, YouTube. Hardball Crazy coming back with a video. I'll tell you a little bit of a late night video. Uh, got home from work and I uh, thought I decided to do this video since it's kind of in the news. Um, I'm kind of I consider myself fortunate. There's a minor league baseball team in in town, so any given uh, year, minus COVID, that I can go to any ball any game I uh, and see uh, professional baseball. Uh, actually, pretty much a five minute. Maybe a little longer with traffic, about five minutes or so drive, right where I live, right down the road, pretty much is the stadium. Uh, it's called the Lansing Lugnuts, if you tell by the uh, uh, title of this, of this video. And actually, Lugnuts has its own little theme song. I'll give the link to it in the description below. The Lansing Lugnuts is uh, started in 1996 as a low A ball affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. From 96, they were for all three years or so, three, four years. And they became a uh, uh, same uh, level of minor league system, Chicago Cubs, from till 2004, then to 2005, to uh, 2020 or 2019. They were the low class A of the Toronto Blue Jays. I've been to several games throughout the years. And with the, with the, with the reshuffling of... Um, of the minor league system and the teams and affiliations and such, Lugnuts still is still maintaining a a um, minor league team. Still excited about that, but they kind of get a bit of an upgrade. Instead of being a, a low A, they now are, are a high A ball, which probably give a little more, um, a little better uh, quality of play. Still a lot of uh, uh, youngins playing. But instead of uh, now, it'll be the high A ball of the Oakland Athletics. It's up for you, for you uh, psyched on cards and Oakland A's 915, who were, I will see some of you guys you're rooting for in my hometown. So I'm going to showcase. I have a collection of lug nut cards of guys who play the major leagues. Um, all these heritage and minor league cards and Tops Pro debuts and some other older sets where the lug nut player gets cards as you pick them up and keep them up to make to the majors so I'm gonna kind of showcase throughout out the years I'm gonna show one card from the Royals affiliation you may you may not know if you're a Red Sox fan you probably know him it's Carlos Fables. Uh he is now the Red Sox third base coach what is he was uh, last couple years I'm not sure if I think he will still hang out with Alex Kors uh, Tenure at Red Sox and he uh, Carlos Beltran did play here at Lansing and Lugnuts. I, that's one of my highest want list cards. My want list is a Lugnuts card of him. Uh, he played very briefly with Lansing, wasn't a great, but just played briefly and kind of moved on up rather quickly. Um, he does have a Lugnuts card still high on my list. That's my only Royals affiliation card I'm going to show you. Then you went to become the Cubs, a couple prospects that uh, you may have heard if you caught your collectors back at the den. Back in the day, you would recognize as were highly touted, but never really panned out. One was Corey Patterson. Here's his SP Prospects card of in the lug nuts uniform. Another one is Felix P.A. Looks like pie, but it's pronounced P.A. Remember these guys pulling these guys out of packs years ago, thinking they were something special? Yep, uh, they never really panned out. They did make the majors as Cubs. The most notable Cub uh, to make the majors, uh, decent career, a bit of a hothead, did pitch a no-hitter in the major leagues, Carlos Zambrano. And since 2005 to 2020, Toronto Blue, uh, Blue Jays A system, um, I got plenty of cars to showcase, a lot of um, Blue Jays, because a lot of these are heritage Cards that my league is a little more readily available, a little more popular, I guess. So these are some of these names you probably recognize, be either watching on TV, they're pulling from packs or such. About Rowdy Tellez, current Blue Jay. Jake Marisnik, mostly noticeable of the Houston Astros. Aaron Sanchez. Defensive uh, highlight reel, Mr. Kevin Pillar, 
Yep, he did play here in the Lansing. Closer, Robert Osuna. Current Detroit Tiger, Daniel Norris. Current New York Mets, Thor, Noah Syndergaard. Yep, he played here in Lansing. And probably the two most notable uh, ones I saw, and I know for a fact I saw him play in person briefly, is uh, Bo Bichette. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So that's my Lancey Lug Nuts. I have others, but these were the most notable ones you would recognize. I want to showcase uh, some affiliation uh, with each uh, Major League franchise. Can kind of give you a clue, hint of, of the, my Lancey Lug Nuts. Um, one other person, one other card I want to kind of show you, being the, the um, high A ball of Oakland A's. It's a very decent shot that this gentleman here, this young player, this top prospect, I think he's like the A's top two or three pro top prospects, maybe four, I don't know where exactly is on the list, that the, this guy might actually be playing here in Lance, I might actually see him play in person, is Robert Poisson. He's kind of one of the top prospects, the Tony Bowman cards, and... Uh, I actually might see him play in person. I hope he does. I hope I get a Lansing Lugnut card of him and see what happens. But that's my uh, Lansing Lugnut uh, collection. And uh, hope you enjoy the video and go nuts.